so we better start. Huh? We try to finish it by today. By by today. Okay, keep quiet. Huh? This one we have covered before. Just quickly run through. Okay, hydrohalogenation. The reason why some people might ask why it yields a E and Z product. Okay, because in the intermediate it involves the formation of a carbocation. You see? Let's see, look at uh, this. Okay, this is the intermediate species. It has a carbocation. Of course, because this is from triple bond, now this is a vinyl carbocation, which is a bit unstable. That's why the reaction is a bit slower compared to alkene. But because of the formation of carbocation, so the product can be E or Z. Okay, because it can attack from either side. If you wonder why the product is E and Z, you can read back also huh? your previous note. I don't want to repeat again eh? because this we have covered last week. We will try to finish it by today so that uh, we can discuss your test two, not every question, on uh, Wednesday and also some uh, mechanism. Okay? Uh, we can fix today uh, mechanism. I don't want to cover Dr. Hasna chapter, so I only cover my own. Okay, uh, which is chapter what? Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If you need the previous chapter one, you go and ask Doctor Hasna to give you an uh, revision class. If not, I have to go back and study for the first six chapter. Like I'm going for exam. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I only cover the chapter that I'm teaching. So on Wednesday, we will discuss on chapter uh, eight and nine. Is it? Because we only have two days left, eh? Wednesday and Thursday. Please come, eh? maybe, you know, who knows, I will give you some tips. Eh? Uh, uh, for a final especially, eh? your format, because this is the first time you sit for a final in a subjective, uh, with subjective question. Although you have tried in a tutorial, eh? but your test one and test two is the objective. So you will expect something different. Of course, in your final, also you have objective. Do you? Huh? I think you have huh? objective and also subjective question. So better cover this. Huh? Okay, so this one I already uh, mentioned last uh, week, so I'm not going to repeat. Huh? This, this is exactly what we said. Huh? An alkyne is less reactive than an alkene because of the formation of this vinyl carbocation. Okay, then the following step is the same. Huh? It's like an alkene. Uh, of course, uh, after the formation of carbocation, the bromide can attack from either side to form E or Z product. Then after you have formed the alkene bromide, then the following step is the same. Uh, the mechanism is the same. Actually, the mechanism is not difficult. Uh, and this product is following the Makonikov rules. Okay? The H will attack to the C with more H. Okay? Let me continue. This is just a revision uh, from last week. So uh, the reason why, the second reason why uh, the, the, the what we call how many steps, the last step is more stable. This step, uh, this is uh, compare, this is A, this is vinyl carbocation. This carbocation, this is also a carbocation, is more stable for the reason that it can form a resonance structure because your bromine atom here have a three electron pair. Okay, it can donate to, to this one. Eh? This electron pair can donate to this carbon to form a, a resonance structure with a positive charge. Therefore, it's more stable. Eh? This last uh, intermediate species. So halogenation. Uh, last week, and and I last week already covered here. I also mentioned the mechanism is similar to the one with alkene eh? formation of the three membrane with a cation in the chlorine. Okay? So this mechanism is the same. The first step, now the only difference is a triple bond, attack one of the chlorine and the double bond, uh, no, the lone pair here form a, another new bond. So two new bonds is forming with a positive charge with the, uh, on the chlorine atom. Okay? Call right left. Okay? After that, the following step is the same. The only difference is now, this is alkene from what you have learned in the previous chapter attack the chlorine again and forming another uh, three membrane uh, species. Okay, then the chlorine attack, then it will form a tetrahyalite, uh, tetrahyalite with four 
uh, halogen attack, uh, 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 what we call attached to it. Eh? So this first step is a trans dihalide because it's an anti addition. Okay, the reason we have mentioned in the previous chapter. So uh, this is a new one. This is where we stop uh, last week. Okay, so this is a hydrate. Eh? Where is it already? This is a hydration reaction. Hydration means adding of a, a water molecule, HOH, into the uh, triple bond. In this case, there are two options later we will cover. Huh? Like, uh, you need to use uh, mercury sulfate for the, what we call, uh, one is in terminal, huh? terminal alkyne. Okay, for the internal alkyne, it's enough to use the water and sulfuric acid, which we will cover. In this case, it put R and R. R is a general, huh? it can stand for H or can stand for alkyl group. So the first step of the hydration is the adding of the water molecule into the triple bond. So an HOH -H is added. Formation of a, what we call an enol. Enol means you have an alkene group and also a hydroxyl group. Enol come from ENE -E plus OH, OL, okay, alcohol. Then we call it enol. And this enol is a bit unstable. It undergo a, what we call a rearrangement called tautomerization. Eh? Tautomerization to form a ketone or aldehyde under acid or base condition. This is the thing that you need to know eh, for this chapter. Hydration using H2O in the presence of sulfuric acid or if this is a terminal alkyne, you need to use mercury sulfate. And the first step is the formation of the enol. And uh, H and OH is added into, a uh, water molecule is added into the triple bond to form an uh, intermediate with the double bond and a OH group. Okay, and this enol is less stable and it will uh, tautomerize to form a ketone or aldehyde, depend on the R group. Okay, if the R group is a H, it forms aldehyde. If the R group, in this case, uh, uh, is an uh, alkyl group, then it will form a ketone. So, this is a new mechanism that you need to learn. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, this one is covered internal alkynes undergo hydration with concentrated acid. Terminal alkyne require the presence of an addition mercury 2 plus. Okay, in this case, you using mercury sulfate. That's why making the mercury as a 2 plus because the sulfate is too negative. Uh, so this is a mercury sulfate in aqueous sulfuric acid. Okay, to yield methyl ketone by Makhonikov addition of water. Makhonikov addition of water means the H is added to the C with more H. Okay, look for this example because this is a symmetrical alkyne, so there is no issue. So the H OH is added here, so it forms the enol. Then this enol will undergo tautomerization to form a ketone. The reason that why if it tend to form ketone because ketone the double C double bond O is more stable. Okay, this is less stable, I, either under acid or basic condition and we will show you the mechanism later okay and the mechanism for hydration also and the only difference this is uh, internal alkyne this is terminal alkyne okay terminal mean is an with ch okay then for this you use water sulfuric acid plus mercury sulfate okay then you will also form enol uh, in this case then the, you follow the Makhonikov rules because the h is added to the c with more h you see and it form an enol. Okay, then after it form the enol, uh, Makhonikov addition, then it will also form, uh, undergo tautomerization to form a, a ketone. Okay, so we will show you what, how, what is the mechanism. Eh? You need to know the mechanism. So uh, before we go to the mechanism, uh, it show consider the conversion of general enol A, this is A, to the carbonyl, carbon, this is keto form, eh? sometimes we call it enol form or keto form, keto come from the ketone, okay, and of course keto also cover aldehyde, okay, uh, double bond, okay, A is an enol form and B is a keto form of the tautomer, eh? tautomers, so tautomers are 
constitutional isomer that differ in the location of double bond and a hydrogen atom. Two tautomers are in equilibrium with each other. Uh, that means, what is the difference between these two? First, the double bond is here. Second, the double bond is here. And also the H. Okay, H is at this position. Now a new H added at this position. Okay, so this is the difference between these two. Equivalence. Uh, this show equivalence. The bigger arrow showing that it favor to the keto form. Okay, sometimes also you can write the equivalent size like this. Uh, the the uh, something like this. This is also showing. This is equivalent. Okay, so if you do what favor to the other side, okay, you can draw something like this, a small one. Uh, that one also possible. Okay, two is the same meaning. Okay, so. Uh, this is already mentioned, eh? an eno tautomer has an OH group and a double bond. Okay, a keto tautomer has a C double bond O and the additional of the CH bond. Later, when we study the mechanism, you can, uh, you can see more clearly how does it form. Okay? Equivalent flavor the keto form largely because the C double bond is much stronger than the C double bond C. Okay? Uh, compare the C double bond O, C, uh, C double bond O is stronger than C double bond C. Why? What is the reason? Huh? What is the reason? Because oxygen is more electronegative, okay? making the C double bond O is stronger and shorter. Okay? Tautomerization, the process of converting one tautomers into the other, is catalyzed by both acid and base. We will show you the mechanism catalyzed by acid and base and you need to know both. Okay? So the hydration mechanism uh, is very simple. I think you can see from the board. Uh, okay, now at first you start with the triple bond and this is acid uh, un under the acidic condition. You have H2O and H2SO4, isn't it? So you represent the acid with HO, uh, what we call H3O positive, or you can show it in this way. Okay, so the double bond now will attack the H here and produce a water molecule. When the double bond attack here, it forms a, a vinyl carbocation, something like a carbocation. Okay, so you have this C triple bond C, just show it R, okay, and you have HOH2. -H uh, negative, so the bond attack here, this one donate here. Huh? This is the first step. Because this involves breaking of bond, then it forms a carbocation, a vinyl carbocation, C double bond C with a positive charge here. Okay, it depends how you want to draw it. Huh? R and uh, HR. Okay, so something like this, vinyl carbocation. The next step, is the attack of the electrophile. In this case, the water acts as an electrophile uh, because the water molecule, in this case, now it becomes a H2O. It produces a H2O molecule. Okay, and the H2O molecule now acts as an electrophile. The, this one attack here again. Okay, therefore, you form a C double bond C, H, R, this is R group, this is O. H, H positive. Okay? Then we want to generate a eno form, double bond on OH. Then what to do? Use another water, because it's uh, another water molecule to attack the H here, then you get the OH. Okay? This is a step. After the, the first nucleophile, you see, uh, attack the H positive, and this formation of vinyl carbocation also following the Markovnikov rules. Okay, the H is attached to the C with, in this case, because this is symmetrical, so there's no issue. Okay, if this is a terminal alkyne, then the H is attached to the C with more H. Okay, then the nucleophile attack the carbocation, forming a, this HOH again. And uh, then the water acts as a nucleophile again to remove the H. Okay, giving a C double bond O and OH group, giving an eno. So this is the mechanism for hydration. A HOH is added into it. Okay. Then the following step, you have then 
and we know that this E0 is unstable. It will undergo tautomerization. Then the following step is tautomerization mechanism. Eh? So under acidic condition, uh, this is showing that eh, the tautomerization under in, this is in acid, okay? Because your your reagent is what is uh, H2O and H2SO4. So you have to be very clear. Later you will come under the hydrobromination and the tautomerization is under the basic condition. So you have to be, be very sure about the condition of your reaction. Okay, in this case, this is acid. So you have to show the mechanism of tautomerization under acidic condition. If this is under OH negative, you have to show it under the basic condition. You have to be very clear. If not, then you use the opposite one. Although it's still showing tautomerization, but you are showing a wrong mechanism. Okay, because you have to see what is the mechanism of the reaction. So in this case, E0 is formed, now you have C double bond OH and now the double bond O attack the H. Okay, another H is added into it following the Markovnikov rules. So the mechanism go the same because now you have generated a Okay, now we have an enol, C double bond O, for example, OH here. This is this is H, this is R, this is R prime. Okay, under acidic condition, under acidic condition, so this attack the H, this generate a water molecule. And if you compare this, this is have a H. Okay, so the, the H is added to here following the Markovnikov rules. Then you generate a OH with lone pair, a positive charge here, and R prime here. Okay, and this one, it, it, it can form a resonance structure because a positive charge here, so the lone pair can come over here. So you have to draw a, a double arrow showing a, what we call a resonance structure. C, in this case, O, H positive, R prime, okay, R, H, and H. Okay, clear? So this is a resonance structures. You have to show the resonance structures. Now, you want to form what? You want to form a ketone. And now, the ketone, the H is already added there. Okay, what you need to do is to remove the H here. Isn't it? How to remove the H here? Using a, a water molecule. Okay? A water molecule like a nucleophile. Attack the H here. If you want to show it clearer, okay, you want to show it clearer. This is a H. Okay? Attack here. This one break. Then we form a, a ketone group. Okay? Like what you have shown here. So water molecule attack. Eh? Eh, sorry, not this one. Okay? Okay, after this, after forming the carbocation, it can form a rational structure, you see? So you have an OH positive here, water molecule, remove the H, you get the, the keto form, and you regenerate the acid. Where does the acid come from? The acid comes from here, H2O, attack the H, okay, this one donate back, this become a positive, uh, no, neutral charge, and this gain, uh, this one become a, H3O positive. Okay, the acid come from here. Clear, everyone? So you better go back and try. Eh? This type of question you will come up in your final exam. Huh? I I don't say that this is going to come out, but I said this type of question, this type of mechanism. You can cover how many marks already? Huh? From hydration, one, two, three. Four, five, five mark question or six mark question. Okay, so you make sure you you learn. Huh? Maybe our uh, revision should should start from here. What do you think? For Wednesday, huh? Wednesday mechanism we start from chapter eleven because this is very fresh. Okay, on Wednesday we will 
discuss a little bit about test one. Not every question. Every question means it takes an hour already. Eh? So then we will cover the mechanism for this chapter. I will ask you, any one of you, to come out and show the mechanism for hydration and tautomerization. So you better go back and get ready, eh? prepare. Okay, shh. We better cover. Eh? Okay, now the following uh, reaction. Also, you have learned it before. Huh? Hydro, shh, don't talk. Huh? I have no mic, then I have to raise my voice. So, the following reaction also we have covered before. Hydro, boronation. Huh? Oxidation in this case. Okay? Last time we, we, we learned about this, it forming what? HOH also, isn't it? So, this is also a, a hydration reaction. In this case, that's why I said you pay attention. Huh? In this case, you see, the first step you use BH3, then forming HBH2. Isn't it? This is exactly the same from what you learned in the previous chapter. The only difference is this is triple bond, the one is the double bond. So a triple bond react with BH3. This is called what? Hydroboration. And eh? then, then after that, the second step you react with H2O2 under the ba basic condition. You see? Basic condition. Okay? So now, it forms a HOH. This is the mechanism you, uh, you study eh, in the last, last chapter, isn't it? So after that, uh, this eno then undergo tautomerization to form the keto form. In this case, this reaction is catalyzed by base because this is uh, in one pot. Okay? Isn't it? The eno, sometimes you cannot even isolate the eno. What you can isolate after your reaction mixture is the, the keto form because the eno is a bit unstable. Okay? Of course, eh, the product is different compared to the alkene one, isn't it? Eh? So you have to be clear about this. Okay? So now look at the hydro uh, boronation. So does it follow Mekonikov rules or anti Mekonikov rules? Eh? Hydro boronation. Anti Mekonikov, eh? same with the, the same one. So now, this is, of course, this is, uh, uh, this is symmetrical alkyne, internal alkyne, react with BH3, okay, then HOH is added into it, it forms a ketone. Now, this is the terminal alkyne, okay, terminal alkyne, the H now is added to the, to which one? Because now you have a C with a substitu uh, substituent, you have another C with H. Okay, the BH2 is added to the less substituted one. Okay, that's why your H in this case added to the more substituted one. Therefore, it's an anti Mekonikov product. And the reason why, you better go back and read the, the previous chapter. Eh? So, it forms an eno again. In this case, you see, eh, this eno further undergo tautomerization. Okay, and the product is an aldehyde because it depends on the H group. The R, the, H, uh, the R group here is an alkyl, the R group here is an H. So you form a aldehyde. How about the, the mechanism? Okay, the mechanism now. Okay, look at here, eh? look at here. So you have OH. This is eno, isn't it? Eh? Double bond, OH. Now you start with the base. The base which is a OH negative. OH negative. What will we do is you attack the, the H here. Then this one become a what is that? Alarm? Is it fire alarm or what? Okay. O negative. R H R. Clear? Hey, is it fire alarm? What is that? Huh? Okay. Okay, now what is the next step? Shh. You see eh? now the OH, the base attack the 
the alcohol is forming this one. The next step will be now you form a negative charge, so this one become see. So you get a you get a hey, the bourbon is break already. Uh, you better copy, eh? if not you cannot see. Double bond O, now become a double bond O. You left, okay? The R is here. So a negative charge here. A H, R, okay? Then what happened? The electron attack the water molecule because now you want to add a, your keto is already formed. Isn't it? Your, 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 your keto is already formed. In this case, it's, uh, it's already formed. It can, R can be alkyl group or H. Okay, if it's H, you form an aldehyde. If R is alkyl, you form a ketone. Okay, this is under the basic condition. Huh? Basic condition, using the base, attack the H, forming this. Then we form here. Okay, this is a resonance structure. This is the resonance structure. Okay, this is a, a resonance structure. Okay, after you form this step, this one, this one go out, this is a resonant. I mean, this one can go back and form back. Okay, in two form, resonant. Yeah, in resonant. Then the following step will be, you have a H2O, isn't it? H, you cannot have acid. Now this is a, in basic condition. Huh? So you have a H2O. So this one will attack. You generate back a, a base. Okay, you will form a C. In this case, a new H is added. R is still the same. C double bond O R. Okay? Clear? Clear or not? You looks very simple, eh? When asked you to do in the exam, then it become difficult. Okay, you better, as I said, move your hand to, to, to draw the curry arrow. I explain again. The first step is start with base, attack the H because the alcohol H is a bit acidic. Okay? Then forming a uh, uh, what we call you have a alone now you have six electrons here okay because breaking of this bond is a heterolytic cleavage okay then your oxygen atom gain a negative charge and you have a double bond here and this can undergo resonance structures to form this species now you have a your negative charge or lone pair of electron here then attack with the water molecule. Uh, see, uh, uh, it's the same thing. Uh. The only difference from the sideboard is the R is a H. Okay? But this is a general mechanism for tautomerization undergo the uh, in basic condition. Okay? So now you learn the mechanism of tautomerization in acidic and basic condition. Okay? So it depends. I, in the exam, also it can, you, you can be asked to show the mechanism for hydroboronation uh, using alkyne. Then you have to show the mechanism. Then the following step, show the mechanism for the tautomerization. Okay? In this case, we do not mention whether it's acid or basic. You have to know the condition is base. Okay? Then you show the basic mechanism. Clear everyone? So we continue, okay. And your product is an aldehyde, okay. If you start with the uh, uh, terminal alkyne, okay. So now, let me finish it. Eh? Now only have, we have only fifteen minutes, so that our abang tang next time eh? finish with the recording, okay. Now we have this acetylide anion. As you can see, alkyne. The H here is the sp H, okay. Sp uh, carbon. The CH is a bit acidic. Okay? So it can react with a very strong base. Huh? In this case, it can react with the base like amide or hydride. This is very strong base. Okay? These bases are strong enough to deprotonate an alkane. You see here, huh? the OH is not enough, it's not strong enough to react with the alkyne. Okay? So you need a strong base to generate the acetylide anion. Okay, so you, you need to be very clear. Okay, you have an alkyne, 
a terminal alkyne. Of, it need to be a terminal alkyne, eh? Because only a terminal alkyne have a have a, this SPCH here. Okay, the pKa is about twenty five. Okay, so a strong base react with it to form the acetylide anion, and this acetylide anion can further go can further undergo SN two reaction because it acts as a a nucleophile. It can also be uh, it can also act as a base in the E2 reaction. We will show you later. Okay, so for this reaction with acetylide anion, the first step eh, is always, we will ask you to propose, for example, later we will show you an example, eh, a mechanism to form this product. Okay, then you have to know what to react with the terminal alkyne. You have to use a strong base, which is the NH2 or uh, uh, what we call halide, okay, H negative. It's H negative is called hydride, okay? Hydride, H Y R D R I D. Eh? So now, after forming the acetylide anion, shh, acetylide anion react with the, the primary alkyl halide, undergo SN2 reaction. So this one react with primary alkyl halide, the, what we call the reaction, the result is a adding of two carbon into your alkyl halide. Uh, so this is very important reaction because you prolong your alkyl change. Okay, after you form this, then you can use this to f further react. Okay. So shh, listen here. So it must be a primary alkyl halide. Okay. Then now you have two C with the addition of how many C? Three C. Uh, if you are using a, 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 a acetylide anion here, so it depends how many C. You want to add it to your bond, okay? So you start with the acetylide ion. For example, you want to add five uh, C into your alkyl halide. What you need to do? You find a terminal alkyne, uh, H one two three four five, uh, CH two CH two CH three. Okay, this is what you need to start with. To depend on how many C you want to add it uh, into your alkyl halide. Okay, so in this case, originally you have 2C, now you added 3C, the end result is 5C. So this is very important reaction to add a new CC bond into it, okay, new carbon-carbon bond. So, as I said, eh, the reaction only suitable for primary alkyl halide. If you start with secondary or tertiary alkyl halide, the reaction will undergo E2 reaction instead of SN2 reaction, just like this one. This one is how uh, it's what tertiary alkyl halide. Eh? See, this is your bromide here. You have three group, three alkyl group. Okay, so this is a tertiary alkyl halide. Your reaction, if you react with acetylide, you will undergo E2 mechanism. Okay, E2 mechanism. In this case, your nucleophile act as a, a base, like E2 reaction. Okay, forming a a new double bond, E2 product. Okay, so it depends on what alkyl halide you start with. Okay, so you go and read that. Eh? And now, this is the example. Okay, this is the example. If you want to, eh, you can see that this reaction, you want to add a, eh? for example, want to prolong the bond here. Eh? React with acetylide, then after several steps, you can get this. Okay. So this is how the reaction is used in the synthesis. Same as this one, if you want to add, okay, this is a bromide, this is, you always start with the primary. Eh? You can see this is, although this is very long, but it's still a primary alkyl halide. React with the, react with terminal alkyne with a strong base, you see? Then you will get this. Then following reaction, eh? it just show you example how this uh, how this reaction can be used in the total synthesis eh? by adding new carbon carbon bond into it. So, or it can be used for uh, what we call epoxide eh? reaction, SN two mechanism. Okay, let's say you have uh, epoxide and this one now act, act as a Nucleophile, okay, and this is also a backside attack, so it forms an anti-product. This is what you studied before in the 
epoxidation, uh, what we call epoxide chapter, huh? chapter 8 or 7, cannot remember already. Huh? The only difference is now it attack the less substituted site. Okay, less substituted site. Some you get the, this product. This is something you studied before huh? in the previous chapter the only, with nucleophile. The only difference is now you're using acetylite anion as a nucleophile. Okay? So, synthesis. Uh, this is the last chapter. Huh? We can finish it. For example, listen here, eh? in your exam, you were asked to synthesize this compound. Okay, when you see here, what is in your mind? You can break it to three parts. First one, uh, you can see, if you are asked to synthesize this compound, we call it retrosynthesis, you work back. Okay, what is the following step? I mean, you need a primary alkyl halide, you need a, actually two steps is enough. Eh? If you didn't mention how many steps, of course you can just use a, a terminal alkyl with 3C. Okay? Unless it's specified, you say you can only use alkyl with 2C. Okay? Then you have to start with the primary alkyl halide and you need to have a, this, uh, this, uh, the simplest alkyl here. Of course you need to react with the base. You say react with the NH2 negative to generate a acetylide anion then the first step involves SN2 synthesis. Then what you get is okay. For example, over there you have CH3, CH2, Cl. Okay, and you have the C triple bond H and H. What you need to do, the first step is to react with NH2 negative. Okay, then we will generate a C double bond H negative. Huh? One equivalent, you only generate one acetylide anion. Then this acetylide anion react together, you get a CH3, CH2, C double bond C, H. Okay. Then the, how to add further C into it? Then you react again with the base. Uh, everyone very smart already. Eh? So you react with this. You generate a, another acetylide anion double bond negative. Okay? React with the CH3, Cl or Br. Okay? Then attack here. Uh, you get the, your desired product. Okay? This is how. As I said, if he doesn't mention, you have to start with alkyl, the simplest alkyl, you can two step already finish. Eh? Mean you start with the CH3. Isn't it? Finish. Okay? If you start with this, uh, start with this. Okay? React with base, then you get this as the light ion. Two step, you can get the, the product in two step. It depends. In the exam, you will specify eh, how many steps. So, uh, this is the same. Eh? This is the shoulder. What is what we call the retrosynthesis? You work back, you no, know, and you found out what is the functional group you want to replace or you want to generate. Okay, so just uh, ten to one. We finish here for chapter eleven. Basically, our what we call our syllabus stop here. Okay, so I will see you again on Wednesday, uh, nine o'clock. We will discuss test 2 and shh, don't forget, eh? for Wednesday, we start with this chapter. Mechanism for this chapter. Chapter 11 and chapter 10. Yeah. Eh? Okay? Okay, see you again on Wednesday.